What is going on, lunatics? Uh, number one, Binance just burned four billion Luna Classic tokens for the month. We don't have the number yet on weeks, but once we get the number on weeks, which by the way is a growing and burgeoning platform, if you haven't already, consider signing up to weeks and starting to do your trading over there. Imagine if you shorted right now in this market, where would you be and how many tokens would have been burned if you just did it when you had the opportunity, funded your account. By the way, uh, all you have to do is use the process uh, to transfer to a CEX and you can transfer your existing bag over there and start trading them today. The more you put over there, the more it ends up getting burned, of course, as long as you're doing the trading and, and doing it with the volume and anything that you trade over there, you still get uh, rewarded for, uh, you, you, of course, by trading and earning for yourself but uh do the long stuff because that's what we're looking for now uh let's move on here there's some news that we're going to cover today uh we got a lot to to really kind of break down and, and talk about and i got a new project i wanted to show you real quick uh give you an idea of what it does then you uh make your own decision on whether or not it's something that you like so uh let's break it down all right guys first off uh jump trading still continues to be in the news with duquan they are um allegedly uh, uh, helping to restore the the peg, and they earned a billion dollars uh, during this period of time. Now we already knew that they had earned billions of dollars. Um, so, and Bill Hunsaker, one of the members over here, he was a whistleblower, if you will, um, and he says that he described his attempts to share his concerns about UST stability through online platforms. Now, basically, what he's saying is that he was worried that it was unstable, which is fair enough. I mean, it's an algorithmic. Uh, fungible token. It's a. It's. It's. It was stabilized, but it wasn't stable. Um, it. It, it was done through a. a uh, smoke and mirrors, if you will. I mean, and it should be free that you know that in the white paper. If you read the white paper, the reason that the SEC is attacking is because, well, they didn't read the white paper because you know they're the SEC. They don't read or whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, but they say the motivation for coming forward is to make sure that there's some sort of justice and restitution for the victims of the collapse. Now. Uh, the SEC's case hinges on the argument that Terraform Labs and Duquan fraudulently concealed Jump Trading's role in stabilizing UST in May of 2021. His testimony aligns with this narrative, suggesting Quan misled investors by claiming UST's automatic self-healing mechanism was responsible for the PEG's restoration. Now, if this is the case, and if this, this is part of this, then we do have a problem with Duquan, and it's going to be very complicated uh, for Luna Classic when this happens. Now, that doesn't mean that it applies to anything today, but we should still be on the lookout for what happens in this situation. So um, uh, concealing the nature of what's going on in South Korea, in South Korea, from the SEC in the United States. Do you, do you understand the stupidity of the SEC's argument here? I hope that you do, and I hope that you're seeing it. Well, let's move on. All right, guys, this next segment brought to you by these guys right here. And if you're interested, go check that out. It's T-E-R-R-A-C-A-S-I-N-O dot I-O. Uh, you can go check it out. And uh, if you're if you're into games, if you're into gaming of any sort, then this is the perfect spot for you to check out. Now, let's get into uh, the new product, new project for the day. And that one is called Food. And that's cash tag F O. O D and if you go to coinhall.org, you are able to trade it. I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the descriptions down below so that you can check this out at your own leisure uh, and, and and kind of go through what it is and uh, how, how you can trade it. And you trade it with Luna Classic over here on CoinHall. So this is a, a an opportunity for you to get on something ground floor. And you might be asking yourself, what is food? <laughs> we all know what food is, but here's the website for food. Uh, is where you can go buy uh, permaculture pathway to sustainable living, blending harmony with nature for thriving ecosystem. Um, and 1% uh, of all transactions uh, contributes to the funding of permaculture farms globally through Terra Farming. Uh, the integration of food token into the Terra Farming game facilitates in-game transactions. And there's an NFT project coming very soon. So the initiative is basically about biodiversity uh, and and creating uh, farming up application or farming application throughout the the, the world, uh, teaching people to farm. Uh, so this seems like a very it's a very nice sort of idea here. Uh, we're looking for clean water, clean air. We're looking for um, a healthy soil, food security. You know all of the things that the world just really wants, and that's what we're talking about 
in this. Now, you can see this is some AI-generated art on the page, and these guys are uh, doing what they can. We're going to check out the white paper here real quick, uh, and this is basically what we got here, okay? Uh, food token is a revolutionary concept on the Lunk blockchain designed to address global food security challenges while promoting sustainable agriculture practice and environmental conservation. With 1% of all transactions dedicated to funding the implementation of permaculture farms worldwide through our innovative Terra Farming Initiative, food token aims to redefine the way we produce, distri distribute, and consume food. Additionally, the integration of food token into the Terra Farming game and NFT projects further enhances its utility and impact, fostering education and empowerment in farming communities global. So, if you're not paying attention, what we're saying is, you know, the primary function and, and use here is to increase um, farms, permaculture farming worldwide with the Terra Farming Initiative. But the part that really matters, I think, to you is the fact that there's a token and that there is a Terra Farming game. Uh, to, you know, remember that Farmville, one of those games was just absolutely massive at one point, and then NFG projects that helped to uh, increase the utility. Uh, and then for the tokenomics, 1% of all transactions buy and sell contribute to the funding of permaculture farms globally through Terra Farming. Uh, so, um, you know, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, go check it out. I'm going to encourage you to go. Uh, it's foodtoken.tech for, for you that if you're interested. Uh, but go check that out. Now, now let's talk price action because, damn, everybody sold their chips or something like that. I read that one day. Anyway, let's check out the chart. All right, guys. So not what you expected to see, right? Uh, this is what's happening right now. Uh, we had this massive breakdown last night. This massive breakdown was uh, it started around uh, China waking up time, and uh, we saw just a massive, massive sell down in the market. We're down about 170 billion dollars on the day, just a huge number, if you will. And uh, it's not. It's not. And matter of fact, matter of fact, through most of the night, it was about 100 billion uh, when the when the uh, uh, when the European market opened up, it continued a massive sell down. The U.S. market is now open as the time at the time of Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today filming here and uh you know it's doing the same thing it's continuing what appears to be kind of a sell down in this market uh, there's going to be some people who are accumulating obviously uh there'll be some people who are adding to their positions because i mean it's just stupid not to uh at this point now if it, if it comes down even more you're still in a great position overall now what does the chart look like well you know this is our volume range if you will right here and then we came down from one volume range down into the next high volume range. As you kind of zoom out here, you get a, a, a bigger sense of where the volume areas are. And this is our high trading volume area. So I would expect to see the bounce to the second highest level on the way back up, which is going to be right here in this 1500 area. So if you haven't accumulated, this would be a good opportunity for you to accumulate and get yourself a nice little, in my opinion, in my opinion, from here, uh, you're going to rapidly see about a 10% gain off of this. Now, if you're using a leverage position, I wouldn't recommend that because obviously, um, you know, it could, go, it could go down another 20, 30, 40% before we get there. So, uh, you know, there is some uh, uh, there is some risk involved in this. So be very careful with your, your, your leverage positions. But uh, I, I do think that that does create a continuation move. And then, of course, when you look over here, you'll see that the next range over that is going to be about 1600. So, you know, we're in these that we're in this range right now. Uh, the market's capitulating. Uh, it will continue to capitulate until it doesn't, 
of course, you know, 30 days after the halving, which is coming in about two weeks, is about the time that we really get that you know, takeoff move. So we don't know where we're going to be at that point. The ETF market, uh, the, the Hong Kong ETF was actually really popular. I think I, I read something about that uh, for the first couple of days that it was the, the largest inflow. Um, and then the U.S. market, uh, everybody's just focused on Grayscale, not on IBIT or anything like that, because that's how you manipulate people in the market. So there's a lot of market manipulation going on. But guys, uh, you should recognize this is a, an enormous uh, and substantial buy opportunity. I hope you sold the top on this last little run and that you're seeing this as an enormous buy opportunity. If you didn't sell and you're you're kind of sitting there right now hedging yourself on uh, your position right now, well, then just hold on tight. You're going to be fine. This is, uh, you know, this is, this is, we're fine. You know, this is just one of those dips in the market. All right, guys, so there's no governance proposals up, nothing like that right now. We're just kind of feeling it out, uh, if you will. Volume, volume down a little bit on both of uh, on both USTC and Luna Classic, but and basically sell-off volume because of what's happening right now in the broader market. So um, when you look at the one final piece here, and that's your burns. You can see here a 4.6 billion burns over the last seven days. Just a just an enormous amount of burns. Uh, and, and you know you can go down here. Mexc Global does not burn any tokens, so I would not use them. Uh, but again, you can see a significant burn brought about uh, by uh, by Binance. And uh, this is the continuing trend of burning tokens, burning tokens, burning tokens. When we get the week's total, uh, then we'll give you the week's total, and then you'll have a little bit of clarity in that regard too. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this got a little bit wordy, a little bit long, but check out Food Token. Uh, check out that Terra Casino. Uh, place and um, stuff financial advice. Come on, we trade. You guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you again soon.